How do you ask for new things sexually without worrying about what your wife will think? Now, we're different people. You're going to have your unique interests and, and complete story, but there are Those are obstacles you can overcome if you learn how to talk about it. On this video, we're going to unpack what happens when you ask for new things sexually. I'm Mary Whitman Ortiz of Limitless Intimacy, bringing you the best tips and tools to create great intimacy in your marriage. On this channel, we talk about communication strategies and intimacy made simple steps all from a Christian point of view. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now, let's get back to our question. How do you ask for new things sexually Hmm, without worrying about what your spouse will think? Well, when it comes to adding some variety to your sex life, there are just so many backstories involved. You need to know what true sexual intimacy is according to God's design, because that is never just this immediate physical only experience. God plans for you to know oneness, spirit, soul, and body. But here are some reasons for um, for asking for those new things. Number one, your intimacy feels routine and you want to keep the interest high. Number two, You're tired of being the only one that initiates and directs your intimacy. Now, is this helping? Are you getting value from this information? Then please, will you click that thumbs up and answer for us in the comments? Did you talk about your sexual expectations before you got married? Ooh, that's a big question. Now back to our reasons. Number three, you love your spouse and you're totally committed to your marriage, but sex is an area that needs attention. Maybe it's needed attention for a long time. Number four, you don't know if your spouse is going to think, ooh, this new activity is just outside the realms of what's okay, especially for Christians. And if you haven't had this talk before, then you might not even know what they're thinking. How about number five? You don't know if this activity is going to bring up some kind of past hurt, something that's unresolved, something that was never discussed. And you know, that might even be a a message from childhood or from your spouse's culture that really said negative things about sex. So You have to um, not just assume that your attitude about sex is the same attitude as your spouse's. You won't know until you ask. And I have some steps to help you ask. How do you have that conversation to bring more understanding? So first of all, create a list actually several lists. I want you to start with a list of everything you appreciate about your spouse. That is going to be the way to have them go, reduce some of the anxiety, you know. Um, But you can also have a list of the things that you would like to try and, and even list some reasons why, because the why is going to be the way you show the most love. They want to know you've thought through this. They want to know that there's safety for them to venture over into territory that they have not considered for themselves. Okay, number two, Ooh, this might be the most important. You've got to set the tone for this conversation. And it's not just your language. It's not just literally the inflection and intensity of your voice. It's the whole atmosphere. So you want this to be a time and a space that works best for your spouse. And you want to minimize distractions because if you're going to get this personal, you don't want the thought of, oh no, somebody is going to walk in on us. And hey, ask your spouse, what's the best time for them? You know, some people wait until like their kids have gone down for a nap or they're watching some show, or maybe you're going to take a walk in the evening. I mean, there's 
great times to plan a talk. But invite your spouse to help you pick the right time so they're not surprised. Okay, my third step is when you start this conversation, let understanding each other be the goal instead of trying to have 100% agreement pretty much impossible will pretty much create more distance. So just, hey, I want to share this with you and I want to hear what you have to say. That's how you grow some understanding. Does it still sound like it's going to be kind of tough? Well, I have the True Intimacy in Marriage Couples course that I would love to tell you about. It is something that um, you can do in the privacy of your own home. There's modules, videos, study guides. It's pretty in depth and it will help you to see how God sees sexual intimacy in marriage as a very good thing. It'll also give you some practical ways to make it feel special and fun. And you can look for that link in the comments below. So listen, it's never too late to bring out the best in your marriage. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, when your marriage thrives, everything in life thrives.